men jostle and climb to meet the bristling fire. Lines of grey, muttering faces masked with fear. They leave their trenches going over the top. The battlefields of northern France still serve today as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by our forefathers. It's estimated around four million people died a hundred years ago during the Great War in this region. So it's not surprising then that remembrance tourism, as it's called, accounts for a huge proportion of visitors to this country. And that's something that the French tourist authorities want to build on over the next few years. Vimy Ridge. In the First World War, four divisions of the Canadian Corps battled here against the German Sixth Army. Thousands were killed, injured or captured. When we want to travel, say, to France, we want to make this part of our stop, right? We want to make sure we see some of the, the historical uh, part of France that, that as it pertains to Canada and, and as it pertains to our current freedoms that we have today. Well, just something I've always wanted to do uh, for a long time, um, I guess, to understand what, uh, what it was like to be over here uh, during that time, both in uh, the First World War and the Second World War and, and see what Canadians accomplished uh, through that time being a young country uh, early on. My great-grandfather was involved in Verdun in the French army. Gregory Soler's great-grandfather fought and survived the First World War. Now, as a historian and tour guide, Gregory believes interest, if anything, is rising even with the passage of time. A lot of people are doing their family trees and family history and, uh, and I do have a lot of tourists and visitors who d do realize that they've had a great uncle who fought, who died in either Fermel or Flanders and they want to go and pay their respect to their relatives.